Hello there and welcome back to Train Sim TV. We're once again on Train Sim World 3 and we're going to have another look at the Peak Forest Railway, Ambergate, Chinley and Buxton. So the last video we featured with the Jubilee, um, that was between Buxton and Chinley. Today it's the turn of the LMS Fowler 4F. So we're going to have a little drive, we're going to take one of the timetabled uh, services with this. And we'll probably do a little bit of shunting, just have a little listen of the loco and uh, just have a general look around. Um, we'll pick another part of the route that we haven't yet featured. Uh, I'm, I'm most likely going to probably do the north top end just beyond uh, Chidley. I think it's, is it, um, I can't remember how you pronounce it, we'll find it in a second anyway. But uh, yeah, we're going to do something up there I think. Um, and that little ties in nicely then for doing the full run on the next video between Ambergate and at least Billersdale. So... The LMS Fowler 4F, built in the locations of Derby Works, Crew Works, St. Rollock Works, Horwich Works, uh, and those were all between the dates of 1924 to 1941. It's an, LMS, it's an LMS G7S boiler with Stevenson piston valve gear, and I am level 4 on it. Right, so on the route it comes with 31 services. I have done two of those already. Um, let's have a little... Uh, Click at that and see what we've got available. So, on the list, um, that's the area I'm going to do. It's Get Go All, I think it's uh, pronounced. It's somewhere uh, near New Mills Junction, between New Mills Junction and Bucksworth, um, in that area of uh, things. So, that aside, um, places you'll see these locos knocking about on this route are Dunstead, Rowsley, and Gowol. There's also some banking like loco moves as well. But that is uh, the gist of what you can do. So, let us pick uh, this one. 1345, 18 minutes. Um, there's a few uh, longer ones like 25 minutes and stuff like that. Um, we did one of them on the stream, but we're going to do this one so to feature this part of the route. And just have a little dabble. Uh, one thing to note, I have got a mod on the 4F which um, decreases the sound of the safety valves because they're, they're rather loud and they go off quite a lot when you're not really doing much. So um, I've put that in. I've not actually heard it yet, so I'm hoping it works, but we'll soon find out. So we're going to collect and shunt some wagons around Gowhole sidings. We've got the 4F, 89.3 tons in weight. And currently it's two cars in length, obviously, with the loco and the tender, and it's 15.4 yards. So we're just going to stay around this area, basically. So, on first glance, it's rather nice. I'm going to put the, uh, the hood off there for a moment. That is a lot better. Blowing off, it's so much less intrusive. It was very loud. Um, to be fair, it's sort of on the, on the terms of loudness. Like originally, when the Jubilee and the AF came out, where they were really, really loud. Um just going to jump back in here and we're going to jump out of the cab for a second. Uh, we'll go out this way because uh, our friend here is uh, prepping the loco with the door shut. Um, <laughs> ah, no, we're not going out that one because I'm now stuck. And if I put the hood on, that'll actually help me. So, a quick general look around the locomotive itself. Um, so, we are going to put some lamps on first of all. So, I think. I have no idea what the head code um, are on these things, especially for shunting. I'm just going to put that one on. Um, I guess some tail lamps. Also do on. Right, anyway, ignore that. So, we are 17D on the shed plate there. We've got 44327 as our loco number. And as you can see, some very nice detail on this. All the rivet work and all the screws and all that, and this, that, and the other, all the little uh, handles and intricate pipe working that you can see around this loco very nicely modeled sound recordings are impressive as well to be honest um, to say that there is no 4f's operational in the uk at this moment um between i believe jamie and uh, ed fisk they managed to um use their own recordings and um basically knock up this sound set and it sounds pretty decent, to be fair, when you get it going. Um, it's got a nice bark to it as well. Uh, it's just, in general, quite a nice, uh, pleasurable loco to be on. 
A um, couple of things, well, I say a couple of things. One of the things that we noticed on the stream um, the other night, uh, maybe a couple of textures are a little bit on the low res look inside, um, especially around here, they do look a little bit on the low res side. Uh, but there was one thing in the modeling uh, which was noticed is that the axle boxes here actually have no geometry. If you look through under there, you can actually see through and you can't actually see the backs of the, uh, the boxes. So that is something that would be nice to see fixed. And we've got all sorts of uh, stuff going on there. You've got the couplers, we've got air pipes and back pipes and all that, this, that and the other. Um, you can actually stand on the steps. Uh, you can go up here, obviously, to fill up your lo uh, loco with water. And apparently you can put the um, the lid back on. I don't even know how that's there. So if you're going to fill up your water, they can do that. You can also stand up on the um, side here as well, which is uh, cool. So if you're uh, just doing free roam, you could actually jump on a loco that's doing its work, and you could just just stand there and just go around with it and get some uh, rather different screenshots and views of the uh, of the route. Um, something that you can't do is that, uh, open up any like the sanders or the lubrication boxes or out like that. Um, yeah, that would have been nice to have seen. I mean, it's not been done yet on any steam loco on uh, TS1, but I mean, diesel locos, you can actually open up the sanders, I think. I'm not sure if it's a sander, but you can do the fuel pump, like the fuel pipe, and like, fill up the, the loco with diesel, so. But why not fill up your uh, lubrication boxes with an oil can or something like that? Um, something else, another little dimension to the game, and a bit more in the, in the realms of realism. But yeah. Nice loco, and again, um, me, rather than Mark that's doing this video, um, I'm just enjoying it. <laughs> Truth be told, I, I'm honestly uh, enjoying the, the route and the stop. Um, again, it's a massive step up from the spirit of Steam, and it's it's just a pleasure to be on the drive. So, enough of that. Let's actually get in here, because we're running late, as uh, per usual. And we'll go on the other side, because uh, matey boy here is uh, in the way. Well, let me just run around here and jump back on. Shut the door. Let's shut that door. So, driving position. In an ideal world, you would stand, but there is a little position sort of from around here if you just hover your mouse around. Oh, uh, where is it? There it is. Push into the driving seat. So, let me reverse, I think, first. So... Just going to double check that the route is set, which it looks to be. Please note, um, some areas on the route do have um, yards that are manual point uh, control. So it's always wise to just double check before you get moving. Otherwise you'll end up going somewhere you don't want to. And I certainly did not do that. I did. I went wrong once on the, the signs at Tunstead end up in a, a wrong... Um, siding. <laughs> I love the echo. I truly love the echo <laughs> of the whistle. So it's quite a big yard here. I mean. On the modern day world of this route, uh, this is part of sort of like the Hope Valley line going towards New Mill Central, which um, I think New Mill Central is somewhere just a bit further up down uh, uh, the way we're travelling towards at the minute. Um, this is all gone. None of this is here. It's just two tracks going through here today. Um, all the extensive sidings around it are gone. None of it's here. So there's the main line over there, which still exists today. But yeah, this lot's gone. It's a shame, really, but. Uh, that's the way the world goes and the way the world moves in uh, progression. There we go. So we're not going to hear the loco doing massive amounts of work. We may get a little bit out of it, but I don't think we're going to get masses from it. Uh, I'm having to contact the signal there. Uh, we are perfectly fine there. Did that just say that? 
Proceed restricted speed, okay. I'm surprised that signal hasn't raised its arm, even though uh, there's stuff in there. Yeah, sort of like the, the the rattle off the sort of. I think, I'm not sure if that's the wheels or the mechanism sort of making the sort of like clinking noise. It's like a bit of like a clattering noise. Oh, we've got says uh, Darby on the on the works plate. We are going to couple up to these uh, wagons. They've got loads on these now as well, by the looks of it. These are uh, part of the update, I believe. So I don't think they actually had tarp over the tops from them originally. But, so yeah, they do now. Part of the uh, upgrade that came um, to Spirit of Steam and in in line with this. I think all the the fixes were made to these, and they obviously ported them over to the Spirit of Steam release. Probably worth revisiting Spirit Steam to be honest and just have a little play of it again. Oh, it's like precision that was like perfect. Absolutely perfect. Right, so we're gonna hook up to the uh the Raker wagon, so I'm just gonna click that. Obviously you can see the uh Coupling has all gone over, and also the back pipe is now connected up. Excellent. Well, might as well take that off for a moment, because we don't need it. What we do need is a, uh, a lamp on this end. Now, again, I don't really know if that's going to be correct, but I'm just going to put that one on there. At the end of the day, we have got a lamp on. <laughs> so people know we're on our way. So we're going to go... Um, down to that line this time so all is set we should be good to go we have got the signal we can proceed and just whilst i'm here actually i'm, I'm gonna um see if we can actually just fill her up with some water we are actually in the right position i'm just gonna show you this quite a cool little feature so bring the arm over i'm hoping we're in the right position um just gonna lift that off um, can I collect that hose? There we go. Uh, mm. Probably not in the perfect position. Ah, we'll just go with that. Imagine that's in. So we're going to fill it with some water. So that's how that works. You just turn it off. Try and put that down. There we go. And then swing the arm back over. There we go. It's like a little rag doll in it, really, but you can see the grunge map on it moving. Weird. It does the same sort of weird thing when you're moving assets over in the uh, editor. <laughs> weird how the textures on the actual model stay as they are, but the grunge map moves. Basically, the, what a grunge map is uh, is like the grime and filth. Those that uh, don't know what that is. Right. Anyway, back in here after being sidetracked. So my cops don't uh, do any damage or anything. Still waiting for the uh, brakes to lift off. Yeah, still bleeding at the minute. <laughs> and I'm going the wrong way, which does never help. Yeah, 
see the uh, you can see the running gear inside there. Look, oh, that's brilliant. It gets faster, obviously, the, the quicker we go. Get back in that position. See the lubricate. I think that's the lubrication um, valve or something they call them. That picks around as it every time it lubricates. I'm sure they go faster the quicker you're going as well. Because it's got to put more oil in basically. The quicker you're going. Lubricate the parts. Hopefully I'm, I'm making sense and not just making things up as well longer. I sort of like to sort of know some form of understanding of how these things work. Even if they're not quite there or perfect. I'm sure someone will uh, tell me. Brakes are pretty um, spongy by the way. You need to be careful with brakes. It takes a bit of getting uh, to slow down. But luckily we're going up a bit of a hill so it has slowed down quicker than like would like hope. Right. We are now going to travel further down here and we're going to drop the wagons off in there. So we need to ensure everything is set, which I think it is. Luckily, that work's been done for me. It's got a good beat to it, as you heard there. I mean, we're not going to be uh, really going much faster, so trying to get a little bit. Let's the cops off. Close them. Interesting rake of wagons, they've literally got one box van and then a load of um, pl plank things, with five planks. I saw an AI with that same concept, I'm thinking maybe there could have been some more box vans in there. Jubilee coming as well. Are we going towards Manchester Central? Driven ten miles with the mighty four F. So yeah. This is a bit annoying, this, because the way this is, it's telling me to go obviously so far, but it's not actually counting the back wagons maybe where the task should be. So again, a bit, it's basically accounting for the player train having to get to the marker. So basically, we could have run really, really far and gone through some point work and blocked everything up. It's a bit annoying. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure if there's anything to be maybe fixed on that. Pin down some brakes just so it doesn't uh, roll away. 
that'll do. Gonna uncouple. There we go. Basically, going back to where we just come from. Not sure what else we're actually doing. Uh, we are coupling up some more vehicles, actually, to be fair. So, we're not quite finished yet. I think we're just doing a, re a rinse and repeat sort of thing. Get the same job. interesting that they've added this like, route to go this far because it, just, it did say Chinley was the end but they've actually gone back another mile up the, route, up the route to another yard so it does actually go a little bit further than it says on the advertised name of the route which is nice oh I've gone past it thank god <laughs> Board a little bit. Sometimes you've got to be so precise at stopping. A bit further. Basically, if you get that sort of like, no, there you are, six yards. Alright, where next? Going all the way down here. Everything does appear to be set. Right, excellent. Now, what I want to do is I'll look back in here and try and wheel slip it. I want to see what the mechanism does underneath. Nothing because it hasn't wheel slipped. <laughs> Typical. I want to do something, it doesn't want to do it. I love that noise. When it's uh, coasting. I'm not sure which wagon we're going to be uh, attaching to yet. Maybe these ones on the right. These coal wagons. Something I would like to see maybe changed is the flange. Sounds are a bit uh, naff, <laughs> so to speak. I think they could have been a little bit better. I think they're a bit over t o OTT to be fair as well. I think they've brought it too much. It's like a pacer. <laughs> We're on a right tight bend. in the foliage. Lovely calls. Yo, so. Oh no, we're going. Oh, we're attaching back up to the one we've just been on. Okay. Interesting. Right, we do need to set some points here this time. So we want that one. That one. And that one. That should being the choice of word, get us to where we need to be. Get 
to a more suitable viewing point because otherwise we're going to go right to the back of these. Perfect. Not this smashing into the coaches or wagons as I usually would. Um, one couple of 21 vehicles. I'm taking the brake bar. Yes, I am. Right, okay. So where are we going now? No idea. Back to where we were, though. I wonder if this just moves really... Go, go. Ah, there we go. Spoke too soon. Wrong way. I wonder if this just literally knocks around this yard and just moves the wagons into different uh, sidings all day. There's no workers that come out of here, I don't think. It just makes sense. This has just got something a little, a little bit of totting around over there. We don't actually need that lamp on now, do we? Take that off. Thanks for a nice screenshot. Right, where are we going? Back to the map. Uh, so we're going to attach up to another brake band, it seems. So let's just set the points. There we go. Make sure we're going the right way. Always helps. A bit too far, and then we'll just uh, put the cylinder cocks on just while we get moving. What are your thoughts on the product, guys, as well? Have you purchased this? Have you got it? Um, are you thinking about it? Leave some comments in the uh, in the chat below. We'd like to hear what you uh, think and your thoughts on this. What are your favourite parts of the route? What aren't your favourite parts of the route? What don't you like about it? We'd like, we'd like to hear that. It's always interesting to hear and know what people are thinking. Rather than just what I'm saying. Maybe I've missed something off. Something that may uh, be vital. That's that. Oh, we're going to uncouple them. Right, we're taking them back off. Right, so, we're going back up to where we came from. Looks like we're going to take the loco back now. Let's go all the way down the... Uh, we've got all the way down that uh, head jump. No idea why we've got all the way down there to come back again. Seems a bit ludicrous, but okay. <laughs> this this has now got potential for me hitting the buffers. No doubt. 
There's a watering point down here. Maybe we have to walk to the loco. We've already done that. That's dangerously close. Yeah, that's dangerously close. That probably could do with uh, adjusting. Right, we're going back down there. So we need to set this set of points. And then we are now good to go. So reverse into backwards. Put the brake application off. And buy a bit of uh, reg. on the whistle just, just sort of gives you the imagination of it just echoing through this valley. Just give it some beans. Just going to go beyond the ground signal, just so we clear that and lob the brakes on. And I presume that this will be the last bit of the task, and this will take us back to where we began. Check the points. I think these will um, manual. Probably wrong lamp placement, but never mind. I'm still learning. <laughs> so we're going to cross the main line. I didn't realise there's two. The main lines are on either side, so they, must, they go around the yard. Yeah, super drop on the sound, it's really nice. To say they've been done off old recordings, and no no new recordings were made because obviously there's no 4F in operation. I think apparently the last 4F ran on the Keith Worth Valley in 2021, from what someone was saying. There's another uh, express going around the other side of the uh, loop now. And I've overshot. Brilliant. <laughs> Back again. Do, do, do. Oh well, we'll get to see the train go past. Brilliant. Oh, we're shooting now. There we go. We've made it. Hooray! We did it. There we go. Probably get uh, a bronze. Oh no, I've got silver. I am pro and all that. Well, there we go. Excellent stuff. I'm level five on the Fowler. 2.7 miles driven there. It took us 31 minutes, but it should have probably taken us about 18. But uh, we did a little bit of waffling at the same time. So all is well and all is good. I'm just going to jump back off this and uh, that is that. This actually doesn't do anything now until uh, 19.45 in the evening. So it sits here now and just simmers away. Asking in the sun. 
But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that little look at the Fowler 4F, and I hope I haven't murdered it too much. Um, again, link is in the description. Go and take a look for yourselves, guys. Don't forget to leave us a comment and just uh, let us know how you're feeling about it. Don't forget to catch on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash trainsim underscore TV on a Friday and Sunday. And finally, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Hit your notification about future videos. We, are, we really do appreciate your support, as always. Thank you very much once again, guys. Cheers for watching, and we'll see you again for the next video very soon. Bye for now.